Hello, hello, everyone. Um, I'm only on week one of the series, and I'm already a day behind on uploading, which is not great. But uh, I have to say it's not a massive surprise. Uh, I have a tendency to get really excited about a new project, but then as soon as the novelty wears off, the tedium begins in my mind. And it takes a lot of willpower for me to not abandon them immediately. Uh, I guess in a way it was kind of nice to have the first week of data collection be my week zero or session zero. It's easier for my brain to think of it as a trial run that way, and it helps me feel a little bit less guilty about my progress or lack thereof. Uh, one caveat I will bring up before I share my training log from session zero, week zero, is that I was out of town visiting family on Thursday through Sunday, and I don't want to use that as an excuse or anything but rather see it as a learning opportunity. So like maybe reflecting on this with that in mind will allow me to think ahead on how to improve next time I'm out of town or figure out why I have a much harder time adhering to these habits when I'm not in my usual environment or around certain people. Um, with all of that rambling out of the way, here are the results from my week zero. So right off the bat, the two stats that I have the least amount of progress on are drinking enough water and exercising. The exercise probably makes the most sense since it's the newest habit that I'm trying to add. Before this, I've never had any kind of consistent workout routine. And being away from home four out of seven days definitely would have made it harder to exercise. But if I'm being honest, I didn't really have any kind of plan in place to exercise throughout the week. Uh, a few times I sat down and I looked at my training log and thought, yeah, I should work out. And then I never really got around to it. The one day I have on record is just because I parked at the furthest possible parking lot from the airport when I was picking up my fiance and then walked all the way from the furthest parking lot to the airport and walked back. So consider that was a pretty good walk. I definitely got over my 10,000 steps. Uh, I think going forward though, having some kind of plan in place, like I'm gonna work out on Tuesday and Thursday would help me be a little bit more consistent with that one. And then as far as water goes, I honestly don't know why I had such a hard time with that. Um, I have this giant colossal water bottle. I'll put up a picture over here. Um, it's a half gallon and I always try to carry it with me. It's got a handle and a wrist strap, so I always have it on me. I try to bring it everywhere I go. I brought it while I was traveling and I have it at my desk while I've been working like all the time. But I think I've only filled it up a total of like three times the entire week and I should be drinking at least like one bottle a day, one full half gallon. Um, I think one major contributor to this is probably the fact that everywhere I went this week, as well at my own house, there's soda. And so I definitely drank a lot more ginger ale and sun kiss than water. Uh, I don't plan to cut out soda completely, at least yet, because I want to get these core six habits down before I start trying to build on them. But I think if I could just drink the water in addition to whatever else I drink, then that would be enough for week one progression for me. The two stats that I was the most consistent about were getting enough sleep and taking my vitamins. I was really happy that I actually remembered to bring my vitamins with me when I was traveling, so that helped a lot. And the only night that I didn't get, I feel like a good night's sleep is because I had a concert that night, so we got home really late. And then I still wanted to get up early the next morning so I could spend time with family. Um, so I'm not too mad about either of those. The last two sets that I haven't talked about was creative work and eating three meals a day. And I was only able to do both of those for two days last week. And I, I don't know if it's a coincidence or if it's connected in some way, but those two days were the exact same day. That was Monday, Tuesday. Not only do my meal frequencies decrease and like my snacking kind of goes on throughout the week, but they also decreased in nutritional quality a lot while I was traveling. Uh, this was an exceptionally poor week of eating uh, for me, and I haven't physically felt the best since I've gotten home. So hopefully that'll provide a little bit extra motivation for trying to eat better this week. I also want to plan a little bit better in the future for travel by making sure that I have some like protein bars or something uh, for easy breakfasts and it would also be an easy alternative to the less nutritious snacks that I was eating while I was away. The creative work probably makes the most sense given the fact that I was traveling. On Wednesday, I went to pick up my fiance from the airport and then I wanted to actually spend a little bit of time with them since uh, they've been away for a little bit. And then the rest of the week I was away visiting family and it would have been significantly harder for me to try to make videos or to do any kind of crafts while I was away since I didn't have access to my usual equipment. And also I feel like it would have cut down on the quality time I was able to spend. That was the whole purpose of me traveling was seeing family. So I wanted to spend that time with them. 
Um, hopefully this week I'm planning to be home pretty much the whole week, so I'll be able to be a lot more consistent with this. Overall, the results are pretty much what I expected. I hit the ground running, but then as soon as the novelty wore off and life got in the way, I kind of fell off. As somebody who's really struggled to gain consistency with pretty much everything, it is a little embarrassing to share this, even though I know the reality is that pretty much no one will ever watch this. I feel like I let myself down, but also in a way it's kind of exactly what I thought would happen. Sometimes I wonder if I'm just like this or if that's what I've come to expect for myself, so I like sabotage any efforts to change. Uh, it's familiar even if it's not great. So I'm trying to think of this as a baseline week rather than a, I failed week one, but that also kind of feels like a cop out, so I don't know. Uh, what's done is done, so what can I learn going into my official session one? The easiest improvement I feel like I can make is drinking enough water. It requires the least amount of effort and would probably provide the most benefits since it is the most important goddamn thing for survival. Why am I like this? Why is this so hard? Anyway, <laughs> next is exercise. And I already have plans on Tuesday and Wednesday this week, so I'm going to plan to lift weights on Thursday and Saturday. Um, I hope having them plan for a specific day will help me be more consistent. My one fear with this though is putting everything off towards the end of the week will screw me over because it was the last half of my log that has the least amount of little mushroom stickers on it. So hopefully putting it off till the end of the week won't bite me in the butt, but at the moment I have a plan to lift weights on Thursday and Saturday. I was pretty good about taking my vitamins and getting enough sleep last week, so I'm just gonna try to keep that momentum going. In terms of creative work, I plan on uploading this video a day late, but I was able to do the scripting and the assets at least on Monday, so it shouldn't take that long. Uh, Tuesday, which is today, to record and then edit and upload. Then the rest of the week for my creative work, I'm gonna focus on, I'm trying to crochet my wedding bouquet. I'm trying to crochet all the little flowers, so I'm gonna do that. And then I also have some resin projects that I started last week before I left that I would like to get sanded and polished up and get them all finished. And now I wanted to talk a little bit about the format for this. So what I'm planning on doing is if I'm able to consistently do any one of these habits for an entire week, so have a mushroom in each space across each a line, um, that'll be enough experience if I am able to do it consistently for a week to get a skill increase. For example, three meals a day is connected to my strength step. So if I was able to consistently eat three meals a day for an entire week, then my strength would increase from the pitiful four that we're starting off with to a slightly more respectable six on my character sheet. If you made it this far, I wanna thank you personally for watching my rambling all the way to the end. I hope that next week I'll have significantly more progress to share with you. Wish me luck and I'll be sending those good vibes right back out to anyone watching and supporting me on this journey. Remember to be kind to yourself and to others, and I'll see you next week with the results of week one of my self-improvement adventure. Okay, love you, bye!